Meal more is very nice. This video is in response to a video challenge put out by Geodudes. He wants to get to know me better, so here you go. I grew up in a small farm community called Casanova, and I went to school in the neighboring town, which is Kent City, two miles away, and that's where I currently live right now and I was proud to be a Kent City Eagle. I grew up in Casanova, and in the 1970 census, Casanova was at its ultimate peak in population at a whopping 407 people. It just goes to show you how small town I really am. My wife and I have one pet, a dog. Her name is Nellie, and she is very rambunctious. She's two years old, beautiful dog, fairly well behaved, but uh, she's a nice dog. Uh, she pretty much stays in the yard, take her out, she does her business, but she's a pretty good dog. Oh, my favorite activity as a kid was hunting and fishing. Probably about the age of 10 and up, fishing was a big deal to me. Caught my biggest fish when I was 16 at my uncle's cabin in Minnesota, and that was a 14 pound northern pike which I have mounted and still have to this day. I also liked to hunt when I was a kid. Hunting and fishing kind of went hand in hand, especially growing up out in the country like I did. My first car was a 1966 Plymouth Belvedere in kind of a tan color. It was a four-door, plain old tires, plain old wheels. In 1978, it was not a bad car, but it was nowhere near any kind of a hot rod or, or a sports car, that's for sure. It was basic transportation. Got me to school, got me to my job and home, and that was it. Oh, movies. I have three or four that I really like are my favorite. Um, Shawshank Redemption, The Green Mile, but my all-time favorite would have to be A Knight's Tale. William Thatcher didn't make the rules. He was born. I've waited my whole life for this moment. To break them. Yes! I, I could watch that movie over and over and over again. The soundtrack is great. The, there's comedy, there's serious stuff, there's jousting. Who doesn't love jousting? I have, uh, I have a couple people that I would like to meet. Um, Jesus, of course, but I'll meet him soon enough. I have two people that I, I would have liked to met, and that would be Teddy Roosevelt and Franklin Roosevelt. Franklin Roosevelt took this nation to a time when this country really needed a strong leader. And even through his polio, was able to bring this country back up out of a hole and get him working again. And that's some leadership that we could use today. Teddy Roosevelt, the man, was very smart. Uh, I'm in the middle of reading his biography right now, and uh, man, if my brain worked half as well as his did, I'd be a lot further in this life. Okay, so this would be weird, but auto body and paint. <laughs> it's just something I've always really kind of wanted to know. Um, I like cars and stuff, and I always thought it would be neat that if I had the right car, that I could do the body work and the paint, give it a custom paint job. And now that I have a motorcycle, I would really like to customize my own motorcycle. I think that would be a lot of fun. I was introduced to geocaching during a team building uh, exercise at work and about a year later a friend of mine took me out geocaching and that's when I got bit by the bug big time. You've probably heard this a lot but what I enjoy most about geocaching in my area are the people. 
We have some great events. We got some a great geocaching community here in the West Michigan area. Actually, the whole state of Michigan. Uh, but people are friendly and helpful. We have great events. We have great creative caches, and that's the other part I like about geocaching in my area is the creativity of the geocaches. I believe I would rather find a awesome cache in an average area because when you find that gadget cache or that creative container when you're not expecting it, it just does something to me. Now that said, I love where geocaching takes me. The different locations, the different scenes, even earth caches, earth caches, uh, virtuals, anything takes you to a beautiful lake, a beautiful vista, a great trail, waterfalls, whatever it is, awesome cities. Geocaching takes you to some of the best places that you never knew of. I know there's people that have found more fizzy grid fillers than I have, um, but just filling it once made me so happy. Um, I recently got my second loop and I'm currently working on my third loop and I'm two, two finds away from having my third loop done. And I'm hoping to have that done here within the next two or three weeks. So I'm pretty proud about, about my fizzy grid. The other one is kind of a lesser, a lesser goal for a lot of people and that would be the attributes grid. I have all but two of the positive attributes and that's the lost and found and the partnership. As far as the negative attributes, I have all of them. I do have the cactus attribute, which Hailmeister and I got together uh, a couple months ago when I was in Illinois. We went to Wisconsin for, for leap day. So I did get that one and that's kind of a nice little, you know, pat yourself on the back. Oh, my next goal is to finish the Michigan counties. I have all of the lower peninsula counties. I have one upper peninsula county and I have 15 left to get. And I'm planning that this summer, hopefully, that uh, a couple friends of mine and I will make the trip and probably make a long weekend and get the rest of the counties in the upper peninsula. Everywhere. I just want to go everywhere. <laughs> I have two places that I'd really like to go. One is Ireland, and I've always wanted to go there, even before geocaching. I've always wanted to go and experience the countryside of Ireland. I've always, always dreamt of that. And the other one is Greece. Um, I love the scenery there. Not the movie Greece, but the country Greece. When you see it in movies, it just always looks clean and fresh and awesome I just I would love to go there and geocache it'd be great and another goal of mine for places to go would be Alaska I was really hoping to get a little day trip to Alaska when I was in Seattle but that wasn't gonna work out and now it's not gonna work out at all so um, Alaska is still on my list I have a couple a couple great memories one is the geovloggers summit in Cincinnati during uh, during Geo Woodstock, we had a gathering of many geo vloggers that we could get together. I think there was 22 channels represented, but that was just a great day of geocaching and getting to meet people that I only see on YouTube. Uh, made some great friendships there that day. The other great memories I have are from Midwest Geo Bash, camping for a long weekend and doing a poker run and going and finding caches and just spending the weekend with geocachers and experiencing that entire weekend. You got the ribs? Yeah. Coleslaw? Ice cold Pepsi. Very nice. We hope that you enjoyed the video. 
I'm glad you joined me for this one. We'll see you next time on Cash Tales. Well, hey, I want to thank you for joining me today. We'll see you next time on Cash Tales. I want to thank you for joining me today. We'll see you next time on Cash Tales. And we'll see you next time on Cash Tales.